Welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration on the Dofer A136 processing audio. Uh, in the last video we talked about some of the basics uh, as far as functions across the front panel here. Uh, how you can create a patch to get audio piped into here and then looked at some of the waveform manipulations that you can kind of create. Um, in this video, we're going to focus on just audio demonstration, and I thought I'd save us a little bit of time. So I already got everything sort of patched up the last, the way we had it the last time, as you can see here. Um, we're going to be using a waveform from our A110 over here. We might get to look at a few different waveforms. Uh, this is going to be piped into our offset attenuator, which we know uh, is going to actually help us get it to the proper level when going into our A136 right there. Um, and then this copy right here of the audio signal that's going to be going out from the attenuator right here is actually going to an oscilloscope. All right. And then one of those is going into the A136, as I said. The output of that is going into this other multiple, which is then getting sent over to the VCA right there, audio input two. And as you can see right above it is another copy of our original attenuated audio signal. And then if I go all the way down here to our second multiple, you can see another green cable that's going over to our oscilloscope as well. Um, and then we have an input from an envelope right here going to our VCA, which we're just gonna be using for sound shaping purposes. Uh, we are still gonna see the waveforms as we move along just to kind of get an idea as to what types of sounds we're not only hearing but looking at as well. So we're gonna start out with something with a high level of harmonics. So we're gonna start out with a saw wave. Oh, and uh, let me also mention uh, down in a different section of the modular, uh, if you go down to the bottom with me, uh, we're going to be using a sequencer. And uh, initially I had planned on using this sequencer up here, but I changed my mind uh, after listening to some of the notes that were patched in this lower one. So we're going to be using this lower sequencer. Uh, the notes are going to be coming out of this red cable right here. And then they're going off to the right over here, which is going into a quantizer. Output of the quantizer is going to be going up to our A110 right here in the CV input, as you can see right there. So just wanted to give an explanation of the patch, that way we don't have to actually physically patch everything as we're moving along. So let's go ahead and get started. This cable right here is gonna allow us to start the whole patch, so I'll just patch it into our offset attenuator. And there is our basic sound. And I may need to bring back the distortion wave shaper to sort of the default settings, which I guess is going to be zero on this because I was actually sort of already playing around with the settings. So remember, this one's around 12 o'clock, and then this one's going to be a little bit before the five, and then this one's going to be, I think, at zero, yep. and then this one's going to be at 12 o'clock. Now it still looks a little bit different, so let me see if I can get that as close as possible. And you should be able to see that on the scope. It's pretty close. Let me actually take the notes out for a second. And actually take out my envelope. So we can work with a static waveform. It might be a little easier. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. And I'm just trying to match up the waveform as closely as possible. So right there, we're pretty darn close. So I'm just trying to get it to the same as our original signal. So I'm gonna, our signal is basically doubled right here. And now I'm gonna bring the gain down on our VCA. And now I can go back down to our bottom section over here, get our envelope, patch it back in. There we go. And now we just need our notes. So here we go. Okay, 
so there's our waveform over there on the right, on our scope. And now let's start a little bit of manipulation. So I'm going to actually start with this one. And you can kind of see that there's quite a bit of change going on there. Now moving in the, let's see, the clockwise direction. You can see now I'm kind of creating an inverted copy. copy. Creating a nice little thin kind of, maybe brassy type sound. And there's a lot of little nuances here, which I really, really like. Okay, now let me try adjusting one of these other settings. for this one. Don't know if I like the sound that that's creating. Let's try going the other way. Bring this up a little. And you get some really kind of cool face cancellation sounds happening right there. Distort it as much as we possibly can. Right there, we get a little bit more of a somewhat of a fluty sound. So, quite different from our original. Hopefully, you can tell there on the oscilloscope that the red waveform is our original saw wave, and then the green waveform is what's being sort of distorted with the A136. So a lot of little different nuances there. Just from one saw wave going in here and then of course being blended at our VCA over here. Okay, I'm going to do one more waveform before we sort of wrap up part one and then we'll go into part two where we do another two waveforms just so we can get kind of fair coverage of all the waveforms. So we're going to go right to the sine wave. I'm going to get some really nice kind of clangorous sounds with this one. Some really cool kind of face cancellation sounds. Okay, so there's 
our sine wave. So let's wrap up part one right there. And uh, in part two, we'll go a little bit further into the pulse wave and the triangle wave with the A136. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time.